Hello everyone, my name is Basket Locker Ball and welcome to the video. For today's video we're doing a Boston slash New England sports teams food challenge. I have a plan, don't worry. Let's go. First target in sight, sushi. Alright guys, sushi is acquired. Let's get our pizza. Stop number two in sight, the pizza. All right, stop number two, pizza acquired. And yes, you put it in the trunk to make sure the pizza stays flat. Let's get home and get this challenge started. guys and in front of me I have all the food for this Boston slash New England sports themed sports team food challenge I got sushi I got pizza potato chips and ice cream all somehow related to a professional sport here in Massachusetts roughly a hundred thirty two dollars that is one pricey challenge but it should be really really good all right guys the total stats for this challenge I'm gonna put that right there for you guys and the beverages for today are because this is a sports themed challenge I got some body armor light L Y T E sports drinks kiwi strawberry tropical coconut low calorie no sugar added and I also have diet Snapple half and half in case I need some extra beverage. All right, I got one pizza over in my kitchen still. I'm gonna reheat that because there's no way I'd be able to fit all this on the table at once. And the ice cream is in the refrigerator. Yes, the refrigerator. That's the proper way to let it thaw before you're ready to eat it. But no time limit for this. I don't think this is gonna be challenging. I just really wanna enjoy it. All right, guys, I think the time has come. My friends, my fans, my family, this is the Boston slash New England sports teams food challenge. I'm hungry. I'm happy. Let's eat. Timer started, and let's see if I can sneak it right there. Hopefully you can see that, and I think I'm going to start with the flaming Hot Ruffles Potato Chips with Celtics All-Star Jason Tatum. How far do you think the Celtics will go in this playoffs? Ooh, I'm rooting for it. Oh, that smells hot. Let's dig in. Okay, I'm definitely getting a hint of both barbecue and spicy flavor. The barbecue is not very intense. I wish it was stronger. I love barbecue sauce. And the spiciness is there, but it doesn't hit you too hard. It's like a delayed effect. After you've been eating a lot of them, then you feel the spiciness. But it's good though. Let me start reheating my first pizza. All right, first pizza is in the oven. We'll give that four minutes. Don't want to burn it. All right, Jason Tatum, I see you. I have to say, these flaming Hot Barbecue Ruffles, I would say they're worth it. Not too bad. Let's finish these chips off and then we'll get the first pizza out. Chips are done. Those are worth it. Oh, there's red everywhere though. Like, look how much red's on that napkin. Don't touch your clothes after you eat those chips. That crap cracked open the tropical coconut beverage. That's really good. 
All right, now let's move on to our sushi. So we got four rolls. A Red Sox roll, Patriots roll, a Bruins roll, and a Celtics roll. All right, let's start with the Red Sox roll, which has tuna, no cucumber, and avocado, topped with fresh sliced tuna and a mixture of tempura flakes with baked eel. Finished with tobiko, scallion, and glazed with sweet soy sauce and spicy mayo. See if I remember how to use chopsticks. And epic failure. Stop it. Get some help. As you can see, I clearly have no idea what I'm doing. I want to keep the pizza hot. Ooh, oh, that's some great sushi right there. Oh, that spicy mayo. Oh, fire. All right, Red Sox roll down. Oh, four stars, that was so good. Clear it up with some wasabi. That wasabi is very mild. I don't really feel much. Okay, next let's do the Patriots roll which again has no cucumber. Escalar roll topped with shisho leaf, tuna, salmon, and yellowtail. Finished with rainbow tobiko and scallions glazed with mango sauce and a sprinkle with dry seaweed powder. It sounds so exotic and it looks exotic. All right, Patriots roll done. That one's not worth it. Nothing going on there. And our first beverage is done. That was fantastic. I think it's time to start on the first pizza. All right, this pizza is from Upper Crust Pizzeria, my first time there. They strangely enough have locations in Massachusetts and California, nowhere in between. Found that very strange, but the owner was originally from Massachusetts and he moved out to California and he wanted to take his brand with him. All right, this pizza is called the Fenway. Signature crust, house-made pizza sauce, shredded mozzarella, Italian sausage, white onion, and green peppers. The Fenway, of course, where the Boston Red Sox play, Fenway Park. That's a beautiful looking slice of pizza. Oh, I love pizza. That is so good. Wow. When I was originally thinking about doing this challenge, I was trying to figure out what foods I could incorporate that are related to Boston sports teams, but it soon came out to basically an excuse to eat some of my favorite foods. Pizza, sushi, ice cream, those are, those are my top five, definitely. But this is so good. If you ever eat pizza and you get little black pieces on your hands, you know that's a properly hand-tossed fresh pizza dough crust. Thin crust isn't my favorite, and I'm not really a fan of peppers or onions either, but it just works here. It's so good. This is my first time trying Upper Crust Pizzeria and I will definitely be back. This is amazing. But let's crack open the Kiwi Strawberry Body Armor. Oh, that's very, for no sugar, that is very sweet. Whew.
First pizza is done. Wow, that was so good. It's been a long time since I've had pizza that good. I'm going to give it four stars for now, but I may have to bump it up to five. That was incredible. But all right, I'm going to start heating the second pizza up and regroup, and we'll be right back. Timer's going. All right, let's move back to our sushi. And let's just clear the sinuses with a little more wasabi. Let's do the Bruins roll next. Spicy cooked salmon and cream cheese topped with fresh sliced salmon and mixture of crispy tempura flakes and spicy escolar finished with assorted tobiko, scallion, and glazed with spicy mayo and sweet soy sauce. I am all about that spicy mayo. Alright, Bruins roll done. That was worth it. That was good. A little ginger to cleanse the palate. And the final sushi roll is, of course, the Celtics roll. Unagi topped with a mixture of crispy tempura flakes and spicy tuna finished with fresh sliced avocado, tobiko scallions, and glazed with sweet soy sauce and spicy mayo. <clears throat> And that is your four major Boston sports teams in four sushi rolls. Celtics, Bruins, Red Sox, Patriots. Beautiful. All the sushi is now done, courtesy of Yoki Japanese Restaurant, where I took on their ramen challenge. The Red Sox roll was the best. Excuse me, all right, we got our second pizza, we got our ice cream, and now we got our third beverage. The diet half and half has kind of been on hiatus. I can't always find it, but when I do, ooh, I am elated. All right, our second pizza from Upper Crust Pizzeria is the three-peat. Of course, referring to when the Patriots won three Super Bowls over four years. But this has signature crust, mozzarella, parmigiano-reggiano, ricotta, diced tomato, and fresh garlic. I love ricotta cheese on my pizza. When I'm getting pizza for a challenge, I always ask them, not to cut the pizza because it reheats more evenly if it's a uniform pizza. Plus you can handle it much better, get good shots of it. Then I just cut it myself and enjoy. All right, the three-peat pizza. Oh, that ricotta cheese, man. Woo! One thing I love about thin crust pizzas, the actual crust in the back is generally shorter, not as long, which is good because the crust generally doesn't have as much flavor as the main part of the pizza, it's perfect. All right, so as far as the rankings are concerned, this is very good. I give this four out of five stars. Definitely would get it again. And having said that, I'm gonna have to bump up the Fenway pizza that I had earlier and give it a five out of five stars. I just don't think that could have tasted any better. That was perfect and I will 100% be back to Upper Crust Pizzeria sooner rather than later. So good. You can totally taste that hint of garlic they add too. Oh.
right, all of our pizza is unfortunately now done. I say unfortunately because it was so good. All right, we're approaching 44 minutes, and we have our three quarts of ice cream. Bruins Power Play Fudge, Patriots Dough Your Job, and Celtics Full Court Prez. Let's start with the Bruins. So this has golden vanilla ice cream with crushed chocolate cookies, fudge-filled chocolate pucks, and ribbons of fudge. Look at that, it did fit. There's your power play fudge. See that beautiful golden vanilla color. Not bad, but what do you say we jazz this up with some Reese's peanut butter? Who else did this as a kid? Mix your peanut butter with your ice cream. Ooh, so good. All right, bowl's empty. Container's empty. That was worth it. Alright, next, let's do the Dough Your Job. Vanilla ice cream with chunks of chocolate chip cookie dough, caramel footballs, and heavy ribbons of fudge. <laughs> Excuse me. Seems similar, except with the added caramel. Perfect. Oh, I am so glad with how easily that's coming out of there. All right, there's your New England Patriots ice cream. Did you guys still root for Tom Brady after he left the Patriots for the Buccaneers? I still did. I, I like Tom Brady, but... Uh. Oh, look at all that fudge right there. Wow. Oh, there's the brain freeze. Oh, whoops. I'm gonna do my best to finish in under an hour. We got one quart left. <clears throat> Let's see what we can do. All right. Oh, second container. There we go. Wish I had some hot tea. All right, and finally, Full Court Prez from the Celtics. It's a play on words, Full Court Press. I think that's clever. But this has vanilla ice cream with chocolate-coated pretzel balls, chocolate caramel cups, and a delicious caramel ripple. Sounds like a lot of caramel, which is right up my alley. All right, and I'm thinking this is going to come out just as easy as the first two. There it goes. Oh, I just got one of the pretzel balls. Nice and crunchy. All right, let's add a little peanut butter to this one. And by a little bit, maybe a lot. Oh, so good. Ooh, and done. 5640. Now I have one bonus item. Easter Sunday was two days ago from when I filmed this and my mom insisted on giving me some candy. One is a cookies and cream bunny. And mom if you're watching thank you for the chocolate bunny. I love you very much. There he is. Do -do 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 -do. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video and subscribe if you're new. I would really appreciate it. With that, this is Basket Locker Ball saying see you next Wednesday. Peace. Oh, that pizza. Oh my God, that was so freaking good, man. Holy crap. We need to go there very soon.